My name is David Butler. Um, I work at uh, Hayden Building Corp. Um, I kind of wanted to show um, everybody um, this little application that I've been working on. It's it's pretty much just taking database information out of Revit and um, putting it into uh, a MySQL database and then putting the information together um, in a searchable format using PHP. Um, so with this tool I can um, type in the room number, let's say 103, uh, the room I've been working on is 103A, which is a conference room. And then um, if you notice, the so you get the, the room number, uh, the room name, uh, this is the department information, the level the, uh, the room's on, the square footage, and the perimeter. And then uh, I started looking at how we can start uh, drilling uh, down into the data. I've also included the finish information, which all these fields kind of relate back to different tables. So um, like if I click on the SC2 label, um, it comes up that it's going into the finish um, legend and it's grabbing that information and showing it on the screen. Um, so then also if you click on a drill down, so you can start looking at the, the casework file and you say, okay, well, what kind of material is on top of the casework? Um, I've created it such that that will in turn go back up to that uh, same schedule and you start drilling down into the information that's in the file. Um, I also did it for the furniture. Um, so it lists all the furniture in the room and I added hyperlinks to the actual different pieces of furniture to link back to that information. And let's see what else is in here. Um, I've, I've put uh, the diffusers in there and then showing what unit uh, the diffuser ties into. And then the actual equipment. In this case, you can't see it real well, but there's a uh, VAV here in this office. And so I started looking at it. It's like, OK, well, if I start looking at the equipment, I could click on the individual VAV and start looking at you know who installed it, uh, the date it was installed, and then you could start putting on the uh, the actual label uh, from the VAV unit, um, and then start linking to the actual documents, like the submittal document that was used uh, during the project uh, coordination process um, and the approval process, and then. This is a mock-up of a, a startup document, but um, you could actually link the uh, startup documents to this information, and then also um, things like the user manual that uh, you could refer back to uh, during the operations of the building. So the whole idea behind this um, was just being able to access the data that was available in Revit. Um, all this information is essentially an export of the Revit data, all the uh, the schedules, all that uh, information, the legends that are, exist in Revit, I've uh, exported to a database. Uh, in this case, uh, ultimately, I ended up on a MySQL database uh, going through a export tool, which was created by this gentleman, uh, Mario Gutman. He uh, has this uh, application out there. Uh, it's called White Feet. One of the things that uh, inspired me is uh, when I was reading Mario's documentation is I saw this little uh, information data sheet um, that was created for the rooms and I thought wow that'd be really cool to create something like that and make it interactive so I kind of um, this is my attempt at taking Mario's uh, his little data sheet uh, piece here and turning it into an interactive uh, web-based um, searchable engine